Hi, welcome to chapter 2. In this chapter, I'm going to teach you how to set up Photoshop before we start working, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about workspace presets. Photoshop has lots of different workspace presets, and by default this is set to Essentials. We want to declutter our workspace and make sure only our most important tools are visible. I'm going to click on Essentials and change that to Painting. You can see that's opened a whole new set of windows which is specifically tailored towards painting. I want to strip this back even more and make our space much tidier and easier to work in. Before I do that, I'm actually going to start by opening a new window. You do that by clicking Window, and I want to choose Color. This opens the Color window, and in the Color window we can choose a new color, like that or manipulate a colour that we're already working with. So I want to undock that, and you do that by clicking on the tab and dragging it into its own window over here. I also want to keep the swatches window, which is basically a library of your favourite colours or your most useful colours. So again, drag the tab, and I'm going to drag that into the colour window so that we have two tabs in the one neat window here, like that. Next, I'm going to change this whole panel here. We have History, Brush, Clone Source, Tool Presets, and Libraries. I only want to keep Brush, which changes the characteristics of the brush we're working with, and Tool Presets, which is a library of your favourite tools and brushes. You do that again by clicking on a piece and dragging it up here, out of the way, and I'll do that with tool presets as well. Now to get rid of these pieces here, you drag them out and just click on the cross at the top, like that. And I'm going to do the same with Navigator. Now brush presets actually pop up when you right click on your canvas, so we don't need to see this all the time. So I'll just drag that out and click on the cross. Now that leaves us with layers, channels, and paths. I only want to keep layers, so I'm going to drag out channels, click the cross, and do the same with paths. Now layers is a bit too big, it's taking up this whole side here, so we need to make that a lot smaller. You could do that by dragging it out, and it instantly becomes a lot, lot smaller. And you can just pop that back onto the side where it came from. And if you need it to be a bit longer or a bit shorter, you just click on the corner and change it like that. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to start working with documents. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a new document which is suitable for a high-res, good quality photo study.